Do you want a quick, before I start, give me a quick rundown. Uh, ACR, like in the midst of the tournament, they just shut down their site? Yeah, so uh, this is a very normal thing with anybody that plays on ACR. Uh, they have these like massive aspirations of being this fucking like juggernaut. And then their servers are apparently powered by uh, not two hamsters, but one. Like it's just one hamster just chugging along and it it very obviously cannot handle the traffic um and so uh yeah it's is there just, a part of you that screams conspiracy theory that like they're doing this on purpose because they don't want to pay out or anything like that no and the reason i say that is because uh, i would have maybe agreed with that about 20 minutes ago um, until I opened my account and saw that they are uh, I am missing a couple of refunds, but I'm confident I will get that sorted. Um, but I also found that they are refunded and paid ICM. Oh, okay, so they, that's good. Yeah, they did like, so, and I had heaps in that thing. I had I had a monster stack, so I was happy. Um, to say the least, because I was not expecting that at all. What's your um, screen and, name? Uh, it's NEO1 because I'm apparently of the age that Neo is influential in my life. I don't know. Um, We're in a fucking sim. I mean, yeah, it, it, it you've is. just come to terms with it. Exactly. Um, but yeah, so in the past, I think that it would have been reasonable. Okay, not reasonable. I wouldn't have called you crazy if you thought that. Um, however, given this information, I don't think that logic holds water anymore because assuming they refunded everyone and paid ICM, they took a bath on that one tournament. And it was, it was like 120K, I think. So, I mean, I'm not saying that's a ton of money, but it's not an insignificant amount. Um, I mean, that's that's a good sign then. Joey Ingram yeah. won't set them on fire on 2 plus 2 or Twitter, yeah, and, and, so that's and, good. And, uh, the reason I wanted to bring it up was because I've been exceedingly critical in the past. Like, I've been downright vulgar in the past. <laughs> but, yeah, I did get a blocked by their Twitter account um, at one point because it was uh, last year, early last year, when they were running uh, an OSS series and every, I shit you not, every day of that series died. You would load up eight tables, get into a session, everything would die. And it happened every single day. And so it was just like, you know, death by a thousand cuts. And eventually I blew a freaking basket and just went nuts on Twitter. Um, and so... I will show those we, tweets. Uh, good luck. Did um, you delete them? One or two of the more offensive ones. I am generally not a fan of deleting one's tweets. I believe in general, if you said it, you should stand by it. But the more, I, I deleted one in particular where I just said some stuff that was over the line and I was not proud of it. Um, well, we um, all know you're a fucking asshole now, so that's I good. am. I mean, I, I just, yeah, I think other people will identify that it was just, it was uh, and kind of things piling up over and over and over. And it was just like, it felt like there was an end. Um, but having said all that, I, the, I've always held that the biggest complaint I had was that they never communicated. They would never say, hey, this is what happened, or hey, this is what is happening. And it seems like uh, Phil Maggie, who is the, the owner of WPN, uh, and by extension, you know, Black Chat, ACR, all that good stuff, uh, it seems like he's either listened to a marketing consultant or something and taken that to heart 
because he's actually communicating, you know, a billion times better than he did in the past. And so uh, I think, yeah, it sucks. And everyone should rightfully feel frustrated and angry, but at least they're better than they were in the past. Well, there are Obi-Wan Kenobi, right? Like, we don't have another option. Exactly. I mean, that's kind of the point. Like, and people are going to be like, well, you can go play on Ignition. You can play on Bet Online. You can play on, uh, on Global and this and that. It would be nice other. if we could play on Run at Once. Yeah, exactly. So my position is that, yes, you can play all those sites, but for the grinders, for the people that are putting in, you know, an eight-hour shift at the tournament tables and playing, you know, a bunch of tables, there's no way you can get full volume without ACR in there because ACR is significant portion of most people's daily volume. It's just a product. And so it's like if you were a company and you just cut off 25% of your income stream, you know, it just, mm -hmm. it, it's, you're, you're, up, you're up against the wall. And so, yes, you can play all those other sites, but at the end of the day, if you're a tournament player, you need volume, and the only way to get volume is to have all of the opportunities at your disposal and not some.